All right, what's going on, everybody? So this video is going to be for our sixth war of the season. Uh, the video is a little bit late, but um, I had wanted to do some stuff for a kind of mid-season review. Uh, ended up not doing any of it, really. So, yeah. Um, the sixth war, we faced Matrix. They were pretty good. Uh, they had some like good wins. Uh, but we actually did really well. Uh, so this war, I only had two fights. Uh, these two right here. This Clairvoyant on 48. And then this Dark Hawk. Uh, so I can play those real quick. Um, super, super, super simple fights. Uh, because I was able to bring a team for just those two fights. So I brought my rank 3 Ghost with both synergies. Um, Hood will allow you to tank a special 3. Um, if she happens to throw one. So I am going to boost because, again, these guys are good. And we were, you know, pretty worried about how it would go. Um, so I did use a cosmic or a tech boost um, because I figured I was going to need multiple special twos. Used a little tech special boost. And then I think I used health boost and pretty sure I used a 20%. But uh, this was a few days ago, so I don't really remember. Yeah, 20%. So it's just these two fights. Um, so, yeah, nothing really to it. Just your basic flow defender, but with the full Ghost Trinity, I mean, this is a this is a walkover fight. Uh, she can be pretty tough, depending on kind of who you have. Um, but if you have someone that brings the full Trinity, uh, this fight is, you know, just a really, really simple diversity fight. Uh, nothing to it. You know, one special two, uh, and she's dead. Uh, basically like an arena fight almost. Um, her special one bleed just gives you power. So, yeah, that was it for Claire. The Dark Hawk fight's a little harder. Uh, he doesn't give you furies. And actually, I believe I was not able to kill him with a special two. Uh, so this fight also has Plagued Mine, which is pretty annoying. Uh, if he doesn't play into you very well, uh, you can actually lose power before you get to an SB2. Uh, because I use a 6-star, and she's, she's of course, not SIG 200, uh, she's not going to gain power as fast as a 565 because of the SIG ability. Um, so I do get to an SP 2 throw it, doesn't kill him, almost kills him. Figured I'd throw another one because... Um, I was going to run out of, you know, power anyway from Plagued Mind. And then the, the rest of this is just wait out the shield. I'm blocking so he doesn't throw a special. Uh, once the shield goes away, parry one hit. Um, and that's that. So two fights. Um, pretty, pretty straightforward ghost fights. So that is it for the war. Um, so let me go to the stats. So here are my stats. This is for the whole season so far. This is my cumulative through difficulty rating. Um, this is my power rating per war. These are all per war stats except for this one that's cumulative. Uh, so this is the true difficulty rating, the number of fights I had, the true difficulty rating in the specific war, and the power rating in the specific war. And this is the alliance average. Um, also here, here's the main table that I use. So, so far through six wars, through the halfway point, 39 and 0, 4774 for the true difficulty rating, 55.18 for the power rating. Um, I'm still first in BG3, but because I only had two fights, I'm now down to third in the Alliance, uh, which is very, very disappointing, of course, but, uh, what can you do? So. I was going to originally what my plan was um was to go back and rewatch every war try to kind of give myself a grade um I don't it'd be kind of hard to give like an objective grade because every note is different so I'm kind of going to wing it um this is not going to be particularly interesting or valuable kind of just for myself um but if you kind of look at some of the main stats I would say these are probably the three main stats. 
uh, your true difficult, or not, and actually not this one, I would say probably, um, well, you'd also have to put deaths in, deaths are not in here, uh, but I would say these are the two main fights, so how hard are the fights you had, and how many fights did you have? Those are probably the two main stats, along with how many times did you die. Uh, so since I haven't died yet this season, uh, the fights and the solos are going to be the same. So the alliance average is five fights at a 1.2 difficulty rating. So the first war, I had seven fights. This was against NY. Um, so they have a pretty tough defense, of course. Lots of rank threes. And this was the war I took the boss. So I was able to solo a rank 3 Warlock boss. Uh, so 1.32 is very good. Anything above 1.3 is considered really difficult. Um, a lot of this, of course, though, is inflated because of the boss. Um, and I had 7 fights, so that I would give myself an A. Uh, let me center these. Center. Center. Uh, mainly because of the boss solo. Um, I had to rank up Medusa um, to do that Warlock fight. That was the first time I had ever played with her, essentially, outside of Arena. Um, so, yeah, first war started great. Uh, so second war, um, I didn't have the boss or anything. This was against Kenobi. So also had seven fights um, with an average basically an average difficulty. Um, but again, Kenobi's really tough. They had, I believe I faced at least six, rank three, six stars. Um, but of course the TDR is pretty low, so I will go with an A minus. Uh, the third war, I had six fights with a one one three difficulty rating, so that means basically I was just given easy fights. Um, so I will go with a B minus. Uh, the next war I had eight fights, which is pretty good, uh, with a one one eight difficulty rating. It was our fourth war against. That was against ESVG. So eight fights is certainly a lot better than six. Um, I will also go with an A minus. Might be a little generous because the difficulty rating was pretty low, but um, eight fights is a pretty good amount. Uh, so the fifth war I had nine fights, which is pretty good. Uh, one two two is not particularly difficult, but um, actually, yeah, I think this is probably an A minus, and this I think is a B plus. Uh, this one, this is the one I only had two fights. Um, I kind of was undecided when I was just thinking about this, whether this would be an F or not, um, for only having two fights. Um, the true difficulty rating is high because node 48 gets a decent amount of deaths. Um, but when you are only doing one or two fights, and they are not even boss fights, just path fights, you can bring a team specifically just to counter that fight. Um, so there certainly should be no credit given for this number, uh, the way there would be in this war. So again, I was kind of undecided. Um, I don't think you can have an F um, in a war where you don't die, unless you go just zero and zero. Um, so I will go with a D for this one. And so if you think about it from a GPA standpoint, an A is 4.0, an A minus is 3.7, B minus is 2.7, B plus is 3.3, A minus is 3.7, and a D is a 1.0, so that's an 18.4, and there has been six wars, so that's a 3.06, so that would give me a B minus um, as a mid-season grade. I think that's probably a little harsh. Um, I feel like I've probably been a little better than a B minus. Uh, however, I have not taken path four. I also have only taken one boss. So I'm certainly not giving, you know, I'm certainly not getting the hardest fights. Um, if you kind of go back and look at it, um, you know, 1.22 is certainly nothing impressive. So uh, maybe it's maybe it's fair. 
Um, I think anything from about mm, a C, probably not a C plus, but probably anything from like B minus B, maybe B plus, uh, would be reasonable. I don't believe there's any argument to have above a B plus, certainly. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty reasonable. So uh, chances are most of you found this uh, last eight minutes completely worthless and boring. And if you did, I certainly understand. But I'll be back soon uh, with our war against Savage Squad, which is a really fun war. Uh, that was against Lyzer's Alliance. So I had a decent amount of fights in that war as well. So yeah, see you guys in the next video.